Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to October favorites. This month I tried tons of new products, some made it to my favorite list and some others didn't. So I'm going to be showing you a couple of items that I've just been loving for the month of October. So if you guys want to see what those products are, then just keep on watching. So the first product that I really want to talk about, and it's the product that I am mostly excited for, is this Murat um, product. And it's this one right here. This is the Murad AHA and BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. So as I'm getting older, um, I am 25. So I definitely feel that I'm at that age where I need to take care and pay more attention to my skin. Um, especially around this area because I have really, really large pores. So I've been doing a lot of research as far as products that are best for oily skin. And I was really in between Murad and Paula's Choice. But Murad was offered here locally in my Sephora. So that's why I decided to go with this one. So I decided to pick up this product because I saw a lot of positive reviews. And let me say that my skin has been looking so good ever since I bought this. I've noticed a lot of my pores around here have shrunk. They're not as big and that's because they're inflamed from all the debris and sebum and all the dirt that you have in there. So this has helped my oil as well. It controls it. This one or this face of makeup that I have right now, I've had it on for about eight or nine hours and it's still intact and it's just amazing I am so so happy with my purchase the only thing that I would say is that it has made my skin a tiny bit dry so for that the products that I've also been loving is the philosophy renew hope in a jar and this is what it looks like it's just a really moisturizing cream and I use that with my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel that's for oily skin. It's amazing. But this I like to use it at night just so my skin can really soak in everything. Um, I have a little bit of a dry patch right here. And again, it's just because this stuff is like working magic. Now another product that I've had and I've been using this for a while is the Thawyer's Natural Remedies Rose Petal Witch Hazel with Aloe Vera Formula. And this is actually a toner, but um, witch hazel is amazing for oily, I mean for pro, um, skin that is prone to break out. I've heard a lot of people saying that witch hazel is really, really good for acne. And I don't suffer from bad acne, but I do get the occasional breakouts here and there. So I love this. It's alcohol free. It smells like roses and... It's so nice, like it's really nice for sensitive skin. If you have sensitive skin and you like roses, like the smell or the scent of roses, use this. Two products that I've been loving, and I have mentioned the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara, the Carbon Black, in a previous um, favorites video, but I'm going to mention it again because I recently picked up the L'Oreal Telescopic, mis tel well, telescopic Mascara. Um, seriously, the latest person to always jump on the bandwagon with, you know, the coolest things, but whatever so I recently picked this up for my lower lashes and it's made a world of a difference I don't have very long lashes um you know like my bottom lashes aren't very long but these just make them super long and then I go in with this one just to add more volume and it just creates the most beautiful lashes ever something that I've been loving a lot lately it's not a full purchase but I did get a sample I went to Sephora when I went to get my Murat's um, facial cleanser and as always I was looking at the makeup and I remember hearing a lot of people saying that the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation was really good for oily skin so I wanted to try it out. So I did get a sample and this is in the color number 51. Holy crap this stuff is amazing. This is what I've been using for about a week and a half straight and I love it. This is uh, this is everything you could ever want for in a foundation if you are oily. I'm super impressed by this. <sighs> I really love it, but I don't know if I want to buy the, you know, 
the whole foundation or if I just want to buy the full size foundation just because I have so many and I honestly feel bad when I buy a foundation that I don't need because I have so many sitting in my drawer that it's kind of unnecessary. But then again, I am a makeup hoarder, so I might just budge. Another e.l.f. product that I've been enjoying so much is the High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. And it's the one that's really, really small, which sucks because this stuff is amazing. I don't know if they make it in the big size. Um, this is in the color Sheer. I know that they have another HD powder, but I don't think that's the same. I think this is different from their big powders, you know? This stuff is incredible. This is what I'm using today as well, just to set my concealer. And this this stuff is really, really good. But it's so small that it really doesn't last me long. For my eyes as a base, you guys know that my brighter dye base is a NYX um, NYX base in skin tone. I've been using that stuff for over a year maybe and I love it. I'm barely hitting pan on it. So I really wanted to get the MAC, um, the Painterly Paint Pod or you know those paint pods but uh, I'm cheap and I wanted to find a dupe for it. And I heard a lot of people saying that the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Just Beige is exactly a dupe for the MAC one. And this stuff is so amazing. As you can see, it has a little bit of a yellow undertone. This does not budge. It stays on my lid all day. Again, this is in the color Just Beige. It was a limited edition, like a holiday limited edition thing. But you can find them on eBay and Amazon. That's where I got mine. No joke, this is like third day hair. I haven't washed my hair. I have really curly, dry, coarse hair. So the more that I, the longer that I wait for my hair to be washed, the better because it produces natural oils. So I recently got the Batiste Flora and Flirt Blush. Um, what do you call it? Dry shampoo. This stuff is so good. I again, I'm so late. You know, as far as jumping the bandwagon. But I am never going back to any other dry shampoo. And this has kept my hair so, like, nice. And I love it. It's, it's, it's nice to have, you know, not dirty hair. Okay, and then the last thing that I've also just been in love with. First of all, Z palettes are life. If you like these, you know, little eyeshadows or hot pots, you definitely want to invest into a Z palette. They are a little bit pricey, but they're totally worth it. A couple of months ago, Z Palette sent me a whole bunch of these, and I went crazy trying to, like, fill them up. So this is one of the biggest ones. I think this is a large or extra large, something like that. And all the shadows that I have here are all um, Luxie Beauty eyeshadows. These things are so cool. Like, I love these shadows. All of these, most of these have more of that metallic finish, but they're so pigmented. My two absolute favorites are these down here. These are matte. They are so pretty. I love Luxie eyeshadows. Ever since I discovered her company, I've just been hooked. I've done reviews with them, and I have a lot of their stuff because it's honestly really good, and it's super affordable. These are only $5 a piece, and again, like the quality of these is just... To die for like these are two swatches so i've just been i've just been gravitating a lot towards this palette so loving it and i lied the last thing that i have here are of course my uh brushes that i recently talked about i did a whole video on it if you haven't seen it i will have it linked either up here or just in the info bar but these are by the brand beauty junkies they are sold on amazon i do have a coupon code for you guys if you want to use it before it expires on december and you get an eight piece set these brushes are amazing that's all you need to know especially this one the tapered blending this is like my favorite one i've been using it every day since i got it it's just it's really really good so those are all the products that I was loving. I'm out of breath. Those are all the products that I was loving for the month of October. I hope you guys found something cool. And if you do end up picking it up, let me know and share it with me. And as always, let me know what your favorite products were for the month of October. Because I'm always on the hunt for new makeup. Duh. Let me know what you guys were loving. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
please subscribe to my channel if you haven't and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!